Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I would like to invite you to a power yoga. So this is going to be yoga for full body. So grab your mat and get yourself ready. If you need a, a bottle of water, take it as well as well and prepare yourself to wake up your whole body. So let's start from child pose. Stretch your arms in front of you and let your hips rest for a moment into your heels. Take a couple deep breaths, relax your shoulders. And when you're ready, bring yourself to hands and knees position. And then slowly start swinging your body from side to side. Remember to keep your back straight and navel pulled in towards your spine. And if you feel super strong today, you can hover your knees above the floor, curling your toes and then swing your body from side to side. Let's relax the knees down and relax your feet. Then take your left palm behind the head, lift your elbow up. And let's start in a circle motion, lower that elbow down, move it forward and up. So try to make a big five circles to warm up the one side of your body. Keep it again, back straight, movement with the whole arm and left shoulder. After the fifth time, just raise the arm up. And on exhale, lower to the right side to thread the needle pose. Now you can extend your right arm in front of you if you feel comfortable and then extend your right leg. If you again super strong, you can take that right arm behind the back and even lift your right leg off the floor. Couple deep breaths, find the balance and then release the leg down on the floor and lift yourself up back to hands and knees position. So let's repeat the same on the other side, right palm behind the head and again some circles, big circles extending the back, moving really that shoulder, activating the whole range of motion here. Lift that right arm up on inhale and exhale, lower to the left, making thread the needle pose. Either stay here or extend the left arm. You can extend the left leg. You can also take the arm behind the back and lift the left, off, left leg off the floor. Hold for a moment, catch your balance, and then slowly relax the leg down Bring the palm back down to the floor, coming back to table pose. Strengthen your back. And then extend your both legs and take a plank pose. So let's just pedal your knees one knee at a time to warm up the back of the legs, warm up your toes. And if you want, you can also take that plank to the swing, bending one knee to the side extending the other leg so a couple times to warm up your feet and your legs when you're ready lift your hips high to your first downward facing dog on next inhale slowly walk your feet towards your hands and exhale fold forwards and downwards inhale lift up all the way up and on exhale again, fold into your legs. Inhale, lift up, halfway lift. And on exhale, back to plank position, take your chaturanga. Inhale up to upward facing dog. And exhale, downward dog. Now from here, we're going to take an easy side uh, plank pose. So bring yourself to your knees and then rotate the right knee to the side, extending your left leg. And then bring the left palm behind the head, join with the right and stay in the line with the extended leg. Either elbows bent or extend the arms as well. Just hold for a moment. Then land your right palm down and take a full plank position if you can. If you feel super stable, then you can lift the top leg up without binding with the hands. Just hold for a moment. 
and on exhale come back to plank position either lower your knees or take a full chaturanga or you can straight come to the other side so rotate the left knee extend the right leg right palm behind the head join with the left either stay there or extend the arms in line with the back leg lower the left palm down keep the right arm in the air full side plank position and then if you're ready lift the top leg up hold just for a balance and then exhale bring yourself back to plank and chaturanga inhale upward dog and exhale downward facing dog one deep breath here on the next inhale lift the right leg up to three-legged dog then bend your right knee and slowly with rounding back place the right foot between your hands take a half high lunge position lifting the arms up and then take a cactus arms back bending and then lifting the arms up and staying in line with the back leg leaning your ribcage towards the, the front leg and again cactus arms inhale exhale lean forward stretch your arms let's do that one more time so inhale lift up bend your elbows to the side squeezing your shoulder blades and on exhale extend lean forward rest your rib cage on that thigh hold for a moment super strong position and on exhale lower both palms down step back to plank you can lift the right leg off the floor and take a chaturanga then inhale upward dog exhale hips high downward facing dog one deep breath and then straight to the other side inhale left leg up exhale slowly bending that left knee bring into your chest and step forward between your hands inhale lift your arms up and then bend your elbows arching your lower back the next stand your arms in front of you leaning forward towards your knee and again inhale cactus hands back bend exhale lean forward stretching your fingers inhale one more time bend your elbows to the side exhale lean forward looking down hold for a moment navel in extend your back and on exhale slowly relax your palms down stepping back to three-legged plank and take your chaturanga inhale lift up upward dog lifting your sternum and exhale downward dog one deep breath in downward dog and get yourself ready to do a flip dog so lift the right leg up bend your elbow prepare your foot and your leg and softly land that foot behind you lifting the hips lifting the left arm to flip dog and exhale slowly come back hands down try not to place the right leg down to the floor just step forward and swing your arms to the side to warrior two position keep your right knee bent open arms to the side palms facing down and then lean to opposite side to reverse warrior two position extending your arms keeping the position very strong and then extend the other leg and softly land in triangle pose grab your big toe but you can also place that hand on the shin or use the block ideally gaze up but you can keep looking down and then on the exhale lower the left palm down and take a wide pyramid pose squaring the hips as much as you can and leaning towards the right leg lift your chest inhale and on exhale bend that knee and step back to plank take your chaturanga inhale inhale upward dog and on exhale downward facing dog 
straight to the other side so let's start from flip dog lift the left leg up inhale bend your knee prepare yourself to the position and when you're ready softly land that foot on the floor lifting the arm and hips up hold for a moment and on exhale left palm goes down keeping that left knee bend step forward between your hands landing the back heel and stretching the arms to the side to warrior two position bend your knee and then lift both arms to the opposite side of that bending knee stretching to reversing warrior position and then extend the left leg and land softly in triangle pose adjust yourself to the position where you want to be and on exhale lower the right palm down take a pyramid pose squaring the hips one deep breath and then again lift your chest bend your left knee step back to plank chaturanga inhale upward dog and exhale downward facing dog take another deep breath here and then when you're ready slowly walk your feet towards your hands exhale fold in and then grab your elbows now try to really extend your back here lower your head maybe swing yourself gently from side to side and then you can release holding your elbow and slowly roll your spine all the way up now when you're ready bend your right knee hold that knee with both hands squeeze and find the balance then grab your right toe if you can and extend that right leg and then open that leg to the right side and left arm to the left hold for a moment and then when you're ready bend that knee again and bring yourself to full tree pose both arms up join the palms together if you can either stay a little bit longer in tree position or take a half standing lotus pose so see which pose is available for you today if you're in half lotus feel free to bind we're taking the right arm behind the back and grabbing right foot and then from here let's take a warrior three position taking right leg behind you extending both arms balance on one leg and then slowly lower both hands down and step back to plank chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog step forward or jump forward if you wish to standing and roll your spine up back to standing position so let's repeat that sequence on the other side bend your left knee grab your left toe extend that leg when you're ready open the leg to the left right arm to the right side hold the balance and then from here bend your left knee take a tree pose both arms up above the head hold for a moment and then either stay in tree pose or take a half standing lotus pose you can hold that foot or you can bind and then release the foot and straight from that position take your warrior three taking your left leg behind you extending your arms in front of you keeping your body parallel to the floor hands down to the floor step back to plank position take your chaturanga inhale upward dog and exhale downward dog now step your feet a little bit closer maybe halfway bend your knees open your toes slightly out to the side and take a yogic squat position malasana joining the palms together in front of your heart 
Now we want to take a crow position as a next pose but if you don't feel comfortable with that position yet just stay a little bit longer in that squatting position. If you wish to try then relax your palms down on the floor and just take it easy. Take a, take a really good time to prepare to yourself to that pose. So lift your heels and hips up and transfer your body weight to your arms. And then maybe see if you can lift one foot of the floor. Maybe the other. Don't worry if you don't feel strong enough yet. If you want to step or jump back to take a chaturanga, you can. Inhale, lift up, upward dog. Exhale, to downward dog. Well done. Let's take a seated position. Extend your legs. And then from here, you're going to slowly lie down on your back. Feel your whole lower back on the floor and drag your right knee in. So let's take a spinal twist here, twisting that right knee to the left, looking maybe to the opposite side. Allow your both shoulders to relax on the floor. Feel free to close your eyes. Squeeze that right knee to your chest one more time and let that right leg to rest on the floor. Bring your right knee in. Take a twist to the right, look to the left. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now slowly untwist and drag your left knee one more time to your chest and exhale, relax all the way down to the floor. Now you can take your sabasana here in the, with the straight legs. I feel today comfortable just to use my bolster and place it under my knees. And let's just relax for a couple minutes. Keep your shoulders relaxed, eyes closed. Just make yourself comfortable. Now slowly bring attention to your whole body and try to relax every single part of your body. You can even count in your mind from 10 to 1, allowing each step to be more, to bring the more relaxed to your body. Couple deep breaths here. Now obviously if you feel to stay in that position longer, feel free to stay. Pause that video and stay here as long as your body needs to. Maybe you need uh, more time to yourself or your body needs uh, extended relax here. But if you're ready, you can you can release that pose very slowly by bending your knee, moving your head from side to side or swinging your knees from side to side, massaging your lower back. Then roll yourself to one side and very slowly bring yourself back up to seated position. Now let's finish our practice with three deep breaths. Inhale, lift your arms up, join the palms together Exhale, relax in front of your heart. Inhale again, arms up and stretch. Exhale down, one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale down and relax. Thank you so much for joining me to today's class. I hope you feel more powerful and relaxed at the same time. Thank you. Namaste.